A child rapist and polygamous doomsday cult member recently tried to argue that his sick acts were religious. Now, the vile monster doesn't have anything else to say after the fed-up Utah judge dropped six brutal words on him, and rightfully so. According to Fox and EWS 13, 5th District Court Judge Matthew Bell came down hard on child rapist Sam Schaefer after he was convicted of first-degree felony rape and another charge of abuse. The pedophile recently sat before the judge in Cedar City, Utah, after his lawyer tried to argue that his client's behavior was not sexual but instead was religious. Bell had the perfect response for the vile creep. You're not being sentenced for your religious views, you're being sentenced for criminal conduct, the fed-up judge pointed out. Schaefer's crimes were so heinous that he was ordered to spend 25 years to life in prison plus another 1 to 15 years to be served consecutively. Schaefer and his co-defendant, John Colther, were part of an apocalyptic group known as the Knights of the Crystal Blade. Apparently, Schaefer was the seer of the cult. Colthorpe and Schaefer were accused of kidnapping children before being convicted. At the time of his arrest, Schaefer reportedly told police in Iron County, Utah, that he was betrothed to Colthorpe's eight-year-old daughter. The sick animal also told police that Colthorpe was married to his own seven-year-old daughter. In 2017, police sent out an Amber Alert when the two girls went missing. Schaefer was taken into custody just a couple of hours later and revealed to the police the location of the missing girls. Officers found two of the missing children in a mobile home and two others hiding in empty water barrels in near freezing temperatures. After officers rescued the four girls, they were transported to Cedar City Hospital for medical evaluation. One of Schaefer's daughters was transported via life flight to Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake. Prosecutors in the case argued that the children would likely have died in those conditions had it not been for the heroic efforts of law enforcement to find them. The tremendous amount of self-restraint shown by the responding officers is a testament to their commitment to uphold the law, even when monsters like Schaefer and Colthorpe deserve to be dragged out into the street and shot. Schaefer's trial would only prove how truly sickening his crimes were. Schaefer revealed to the court he had agreed to flip on his co-defendant and testify against Colthorpe. He also admitted that he had contemplated committing suicide before doing so. Schaefer and his lawyer unsuccessfully argued against the prosecution's presentation of events. Schaefer's testimony in court was nothing short of blood boiling. I said, find me when you're older, and she said, I love you. Schaefer sobbed in court, speaking about his relationship with one of the children he raped. If being crucified would make it better for her, I would do it," Schaefer continued to say through tears. I do need help," Schaefer added, and petitioned the judge to give me the right judgment, even if that's impossible. In an attempt to seek leniency, Sam Schaefer's mother begged the judge to provide mental health treatment for her son. Schaefer's mother reportedly refused to excuse his actions before the court but said that he needed psychological help. In the end, Schaefer admitted he accepted responsibility for his sick acts. It did start as a religious thing, but I do accept culpability, Schaefer told the court, according to local news source KSL. I am sorry, he added. Colther will likely go on trial in July 2018. The 34-year-old Schaefer is also facing child bigamy and other charges in San Pete County. 
Prosecutors say the abuse started there before the group moved to a remote desert compound. Schaefer's sick acts with children should have earned him the death penalty in my opinion. There's no justice for the victims who suffered horrifically at Schaefer's hands. Those children will be psychologically damaged for life after this. There isn't a hole dark enough in which Schaefer and Colthorpe could be thrown, let's just hope that they are visited by the vilest creatures that exist within the prison system as they live out their years behind bars.